your project deliverables are ready and you are working on supporting the transitioning of these deliverable to the end users. However, you observe that the end users are resistant to the change because they believe it will result in losing revenue. As a project manager, what you should do next. So transitioning, rollout, handover, the deliverable, those kind of activities are happening and you are finding resistance to change and that resistance seems to be a logical resistance to change. Yeah. Let's see options. Option A, engage with the end users to understand their concerns, provide information on their benefit of the change and involve them in transitioning planning. So by default, it looks good choice. Yes, you need to engage. You need to find out their concerns. You need to justify, you give an explanation of why we are doing this particular change and work together to find out how do we do a transitioning planning. So a good candidate option, let's see other options. Option B, escalate the issue to the senior management to force the transitioning through emphasizing the project completion. So usually escalation is not a good choice. Here we are not seeing any reasons which triggers escalation. Yes, such kind of transitioning activity requires senior management intervention because these end users may not listen to you. Yeah, they will listen to their management and your senior management. And you might be worried about your project completion getting delayed because of these end user assistance. So sometimes you think of escalation, but since the question is not clearly indicating that, I think we should not escalate and that's why we should hold on for an option B and look for other option. Option C, make a clear entry criteria for transitioning activities and postpone the transitioning indefinitely until the end users are ready and fully supportive. Now in practical, in a contractual situation, sometimes you end up doing it. You can say that if it is not part of your project contract to support the transition activity and do a change management related thing, your focus will be producing the deliverable and, and giving a time window to the client so that they can choose when they want to implement it and you support it during that time. And you may put a checklist of entry criteria there. But uh, in this question, we are not getting that particular situation very clearly. We, are, we should not assume it's a contractual obligation like that. And in general, from a PMP exam perspective, we do have a task talking about supporting organizational change. So until unless specified clearly in the question, I should assume that as a project manager, I have a responsibility of enabling change as well. So I won't say that you need to get ready before I bring the deliverable. I'm here, I'm, I'm working with the team, I'm working with the stakeholders to find out how do we move forward with this particular deliverable. So I hold on for option C as well. As of now, option A looks good. Let's see option D. Along with some key stakeholders, engage with the end users to understand their concerns and take support from stakeholders to provide information on the benefit of the change. Now here, option A and D has a similarity and little distinct focus. So option A was more focusing on that as a project manager, I will figure it out. I will explain, I will engage and I will work and we'll figure out how do we do transitioning. Where an option D is saying, you may need to take support from key stakeholders because the situation related to transitioning may not be directly controllable by the project manager. So saying involve those stakeholders and then plan with them, maybe make them explaining the benefits of the projects and deliverable to these people, bring justification from them rather than you providing it, and then collaboratively figure it out how do we move uh, forward with these particular transitioning activities. So I would say uh, this is something better than A, because we need to keep in mind when we are supporting organizational change, we are not the alone player. We are working with the overall organizational ecosystem. We do remember from our PMP classes, the rollout plan and other, other things which we do are not completely owned by project manager. They are owned jointly by the group who is managing the change. So looking at continuous or, or key involvement needed from the stakeholder to create awareness for the change, to give a justification for the change, I better take support from the stakeholder, but I remain involved in this particular uh, challenge which we are facing in the transitioning activity. So option day look good in this particular question. Now this question maps to the exam content outline, people domain task, which is focusing on collaborating with the stakeholders. So you need to take support from the stakeholders. You alone don't have to produce everything, especially for transitioning and external environmental activity. You collaborate with the stakeholders. It also points to a business domain task, which is the primary focus of this question. Task for supporting organizational change. You support, you don't necessarily drive it. That's a, a thing we need to keep in mind from a project manager role. But yeah, you are involved in a supporting the organizational change. The topic we explore, transitioning planning, rollout planning, and it's overall supporting the change in order to achieve the future state for the organization. Mm -hmm.